So, after uh, saying I couldn't be out of the Airbnb, uh, knowing I could get 900 for it, I thought, well, I've made a fucking video. So I chucked that on all the Facebook fucking groups in Manchester, you know, like uh, Born and Bred in Manchester, Mint Manchester, uh, Gay Pride Manchester, and I chucked it on all of them, playing the thick mank. You know, hey, right, sorted. I've got this place, right? Um, and I'm thinking of renting it. Any idea what it should go for or anyone interested, let us know, we'll sort something out. Sorted, Manchester, you know what I mean? Right. Fucking hell, man. It went fucking berserk. Anyway, so what I'm pretty much guaranteed, and this guy, this particular guy, it's my either at least once a fucking week, and it wasn't the most expensive, not, well, it wasn't the biggest offer I had, but this guy is fucking hanging your fucking hat on him, he's desperate, he lives over the hill, and he works in Gossip, and that's a thousand and fifty pound a month that he's offering me. And he says, he'll fucking, you know, like, he'll give me three months fucking um, rent up front as a fucking deposit. Not even fucking mentioned any of that shit. Anyway, so that went on. Well, I was looking at uh, Aldi Let, um, just sort of like doing it like privately. And then I was looking at the legality of it, put a question into uh, Mrs. Google. Anyway. Um, somehow I got onto Site Scottages because they must have had a forum or something. I got on there and had to find something out and had to sign in. So I signed in, found out what I wanted to find out, thought no more about it. And then we got a phone call off them. Hey, this is Site Scottages here, you showing interest. And I thought, oh yeah, fair enough, I've fucking got some time to kill. I went through it with him and uh, he's saying, what's this, what's that? I said, well, I'll tell you what, I've made a fucking video of it. I'll send you the video. It's only 45 seconds long and you'll have seen it, it's that video. Um, I'll send that you and just watch that uh, and then I'll answer a lot of your questions but we'll give you some more questions and I might have some more questions for you. So I was on to this guy for about a fucking hour. Anyway, he's decided, this is a guy called, uh, I can't fucking remember what his name was, doesn't matter anyway, right? Jason, I think it was. He's decided that it's five bedroom because the, if I put a sofa bed up in the uh, in the tower and somewhere, you know, store fucking clothes. And I can also leave it as a dining room as well by having a fucking dining room. But I can do it as everything, but that counts as fourth bedroom. Uh, and he said, oh, if you do the fucking, that little room, because I sent him the layout from the estate agent of how big rooms were. And he said, uh, if you take the boil out of that point, you know, at a point of use, uh, water eating because no gas in a place. Um, that's you know six per seven. You could get that. That's five. Do you know what the projected turnover? And they don't charge a fee. They only take a cut on advertising if it, if it goes, and for services if you're taken. So they're after me, but yeah, and there might about be a bit of fucking overselling. But they can't oversell it a billion times. They can't double oversell it. I don't think. I don't see what's in it for them. He said if it's five bedroom in the Peak District, uh, the average occupancy, av average provable occupancy is 48 weeks in the year. And they reckon it'll turn over 76 grand at a five bedroom. And that's just as a five bedroom, not an unusual five bedroom with a fucking tower. So anyway, I just said, well, how much are fucking charges? I said, but it depends what you have. So I said, well, imagine, he said, how much involvement do you want to have? I said, I just want the fucking money at the end of the month. I don't want to hear no more about it. I said, well, everything, you know, it depends how life, you know. So I said, well, just fucking work it out as if I have everything on every day, on every, you know, and it's for 48 weeks. How much? I said, well, it's, well it would never be this because you don't need a welcome pack every day. You don't need fucking all the sheets changing every day. You don't need all your laundry doing every day. You don't need it cleaning every day. Anyway, you, 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 you get the drift. But we said, if you did, it'd cost you 25 grand. Yeah, so it ain't gonna happen, but that makes 76 grand that they say it's gonna rent for. 51 grand to me, 25 grand charges. Paid tax on that, 30. Maybe maybe like 20s. Anyway, that's as a five. No, it's not gonna be a five. Not this year anyway, because I, I want to get it on quick. And this is, I do own this, so, or I will own this. So, first of all, that's fucking going on Sykes, but it's probably going on as a four bedroom, because I'm not fucking about. I just need it on quick, you know, I mean, if I spend three grand to get a fucking 
a grand, you know, five hundred pound more a month or something like that, for whatever you're or whatever, no, it'd be more than that. It'd be a thousand pound a month more. Yeah, it would actually. Um, I'm, I'm losing it on fucking time. You know what I mean? It takes to do, and it's getting people at the moment. So, four bedroom. It's a four bedroom. Every occupancy for two weeks of the year. Forty seven grand. I don't know whether that maths fucking works out, but that's what it says. And then, you know, however much you pay, da 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 da. So you get it. That is where I started with this idea. Okay, I'm going to finish this one now. Oh, and two bedrooms are sort of like 23,000, one bedroom is 13,000, depending on, you know, how, um, what's it is. And it's in a fucking stone converted church. Everything's all quirky and unusual. Because quirk is good, quirk is annoying to live in. But quirk is good as an older lad because you can put up with quirky for a fucking week and it's nice but f forever. Fucking going downstairs to bed, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Upstairs is downstairs and downstairs is upstairs and might be a bit annoying. But anyway, that's where it is so far. Now for the next one.